Welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about how to get a high intimidate skill and specifically I'm going to be talking about how I get to the value that I get on my build and even if you're not doing my build this should give you some ideas on how to raise your intimidate skill. So this video is going to be more for people who are uh, newer to the game or newer to trying to increase your intimidate skill and you know maybe you've got it up to the 70s or 80s and you're just kind of stuck at you know how do you get it any higher or you you might be wondering like how in the world do you get a skill up to above 100 I remember thinking that when I was a bit newer to the game so I'm going to show you how I get it and um, like I said it'll give you some ideas even if you're not doing my build so and why the heck would you want a high intimidate skill well of course if you're a tank uh, if you're in t if you are a tank, it, uh, I would encourage you to have a high intimidate. Some tanks just rely on hate tanking, which just means building up aggro by doing damage. However, there's always going to be somebody coming along that does more DPS than you that can pull the mob away because they're doing more damage. Or you know, there's always going to be some smartass in the group that thinks it's funny to steal aggro from the tank. And the great thing about intimidate is is it trumps everything. That even if somebody steals aggro from you because they're doing more DPS you can intimidate the mob and bring it right back no matter how much DPS they're doing versus you. So it's a great catch-all and a uh, fail-safe if you like to tank. Alright so what's my intimidate skill? 102.3 um, so the alluring skills are kind of buggy in the way that they uh, display and that's why there's a decimal it's actually a hundred and three and so when I have greater heroism then um, oops did I fail oh I had arcane spell failure and again Uh, so with greater heroism, it goes up to 107, and so that's what I'm running around with, and I find that is decent enough for just general situations. But if I'm raid tanking, then I'm going to want to get it higher, and I believe the highest uh, intimidate mob in the game is Legendary Elite ZZ, and you're going to want to get a 125 intimidate to be no fail against ZZ and that's for a medium sized tune. If you're a small tune like a gnome or a halfling you're gonna have an additional size penalty and I believe uh, you'd want a, like a 131 or maybe 129. I think it's a minus four, another minus four because of the size penalty. Somewhere around there. And there might even be some trash mobs or maybe some like quest mini bosses that I've seen throughout the game that seem to need even higher. I'm not sure about that. But as far as raid bosses go, I think ZZ is the highest right now. Alright, so I'm standing at 107. How the heck do I get that? And this is linked in my build, by the way, and I'm going to put a link to my build in um, the video description. And if you're new to Intimidate, you're going to want to make sure that you read the DDO Wiki article on Intimidate. And that does include a link to like items that give you a bonus to your Intimidate skill. It doesn't include items that would improve your Intimidate through other means like alluring skills, for example, or charisma skills. But it's just items with, with bonuses specifically to the charisma skills. And um, I'll have a link to that article in this video description as well. Also, if you are interested in tanking, uh, I was a guest on DDOcast a couple of times where one we talked about just general advice for tanking and then another episode where we talked about specific advice for tanking each one of the raid bosses so I'll put links to those in this video description as well alright 107 intimidate let's just start from the top um, as you level up you can put ranks in your skills of course and the maximum you can get from that is 23 so uh, that's where I'm getting 23 of the of the points from and then next is your charisma modifier which I have a plus 18 alright from there my bonus to intimidate from like sort of a regular item is just from my uh, augment here oops but I oh that's in my weapon uh, I have a plus 15 diamond of intimidate in the red slot there toward the top in my sickle 
and that's the highest value you can get from an augment. And that is a diamond, so it can go into any slot, a colorless or any colored slot. Um, next, I have 10 from epic skills. You know, when you are in epic levels, for every epic level you have, you get something called uh, epic skills right here. And it says acquired 10 times because I'm level 30, so that's 10 epic levels. So you get plus one to all your skills. So there's 10 more bonus to intimidate, for example. Um, the next source I have is from Legendary Compliance. And uh, this has except uh, 10 exceptional alluring skills. Um, you can see there toward the bottom. So that alluring skills, this is an example of an item that wouldn't be listed in the, you know, that link in the DDO wiki article on, on intimidate uh, items because this is not a bonus specifically to intimidate. This is a bonus to all, uh, all the charisma skills except for UMD. It gives plus 10 to bluff, diplomacy, haggle, intimidate, and perform. So I, I believe the term alluring skills means all charisma skills except use magic device. All right, so there's 10 from that. And moving on, the next source that of Intimidate that I have is from my Epic Destiny. I like to run an Unyielding Sentinel because I am a tanky tune, and this is a great tanky destiny. And so here in the first tier, it says right about in the middle there, you gain plus one Intimidate for each level of Unyielding Sentinel, including level zero. So it's, you know, five levels plus level zero. So that's six points of Intimidate that I'm getting from the Epic Destiny. Um, next, I have a plus five Intimidate skill tome. So if you hover over your Intimidate score or any one of your uh, skill scores, it will tell you uh, there it says tome uh, and then parentheses inherent, and it says 5.0. So plus 5 tome is the highest skill tome that you can get for any skill. Actually, it's less for UMD. I think the highest is like plus 2 or 3, maybe. So my next source of Intimidate is going to be from Greater Heroism, which is plus 4. I already have that going. But Greater Heroism gives you uh, plus four, oops, let's see. Plus four morale bonus on attacks, saves, and skill checks. Uh, the next source is a throne room ship buff. So that's the little crown icon. Where is it? Right here. It says plus three guild bonus to bluff, diplomacy, haggle, intimidate, and listen. Uh, moving on, I have the Epic Destiny, or the Epic Past Life stance of Skill Mastery going, and each of the Epic Past Lives you can acquire up to three times, and Skill Mastery uh, says that you get plus one to all skills per stack of this feat, so I have it stacked three times, that's the maximum number of times you can stack a Past Life feat, so that's plus three to all my skills, including Intimidate. Uh, the next one is uh, Coin Lord Finishing School. So this is something you get when you when you get uh, 400 Coin Lord favor. I believe that's under special feats. Yep, you get Coin Lord Finishing School, and this gives plus two bonus to your diplomacy and intimidate skills. So if you are a tank trying to get your intimidate skill up, I mean this is plus two for free. So definitely something you want to go for. Lots of easy Coin Lord favor in Lobby. Uh, quest. So, if you're a tank and you didn't know about that, go clean up your coin lord favor. Uh, the next, I'm getting plus two from good luck. So let's see, I have an augment here somewhere. Where the heck is my good luck augment? It's not there. I know it's around here somewhere. Here it is on my armor. <laughs> <laughs> Sapphire of good luck plus two there in the blue slot. So Sapphire can go in a blue slot or a green slot or a purple slot. Uh, but gives you plus two luck bonus to all saving throws and skill checks. And that is a level 20 augment. So I believe it is at level 12, maybe 16. 
one of those two where you can get like a sapphire good luck plus one but then at level 20 you can use the plus two uh, I also have plus two from being a from having the uh, heroic completionist feat so this is by doing you know all 12 of the regular heroic classes you can take an active feat you have to spend a feat for this and you get plus two bonus to all skills and ability scores so uh, that's something that it's a nice feat to have but it's not something that uh, everybody can fit into their build I also have a plus two from being racial completionist so the one I just showed you is for being heroic class completionist for doing all 12 classes but doing all 33 racial pass lights which is a much bigger grind uh, then you get the auto-granted racial completionist feat, which is exactly the same as the one that you have to spend a feat for for being heroic completionist. So it's just plus two bonus to all skills and ability scores there. So that's another plus two. I'm also getting one from the Spider Cult Mask right there. I don't think this item is available anymore. This was a pre-order item back in the day when uh, Menace in the Underdark. Menace of the Underdark. Freudian slip, <laughs> under dark. Uh, when they were, when that was available for pre-order, this was like a little bonus item. Uh, like I said, I do not think this is available anymore. I'm not a hundred percent positive. And there was like a regular spider cult mask, and then the elite version was given for like the super duper bonus package. So that's one point, and then I also get a point from having uh, the first orc half orc pass light. The first half orc pass light gives you plus one to the Intimidate skill. So this uh, video is not going to be like an exhaustive guide on how to get every last point of Intimidate, but I do want to mention some other sources, um, especially those that I like to use situationally. Because while I run at 107 pretty much continuously, uh, I can get up to 145 on the fly very easily. So like if I'm tanking a super duper raid boss, uh, the first thing I'm going to pop on is my Necklace of Glib Tongue. And that's an easy swap. It just swaps out for my Torque. Uh, if I'm tanking a raid boss, you know, the Torque is something very easy to give up. And the Necklace of Glib Tongue, this comes from the Mimic Hunt event. So you got to get 80 of those Mimic tokens and you trade them in. And there's actually a variety of level versions of this. You know, there's probably like level 4, 8, 12, 16, etc. All the way up to 28. And so this has all kinds of uh, alluring skills on it. Exceptional, insightful, and quality. Big bonus to Intimidate there. So that gives my Intimidate to up to 125. I'm going to refresh my GH because I see that it's about to run out. And like I said, 125, that gets me no fail on Legendary Elite ZZ. So that's really all I would ever want to do. But if I needed to get it higher than that, then uh, I could also pop on my Circle of Malevolence. This comes from Mark of Death, the Epic Abbot Raid, and that gives a plus 25 bonus to your Intimidate skill. And so that's the competence bonus. It's sort of like the standard skill bonus. Um, so you can get like a regular Intimidate item that's a competence bonus, or a regular uh, item that just gives you sort of a regular bonus to skills, sort of the more common bonus is a competence bonus. So this is the highest Intimidate item in the game at plus 25, uh, but you can craft, I believe, plus 22 with Cane of Crafting. You can also get plus 22 from like Legendary Greensteel Crafting or from like Slave Lords Crafting. So, but this is the highest at plus 25. So with that item on, that gives me up to 135. Well, if I needed a little bit more, I can always uh, drink my Steel's Eternal Flask of Super Bold Blend Coffee, which gives a plus 10 festive bonus to Intimidate. This comes from the anniversary event, and now I'm up to 145. Now that bonus only lasts a minute and a half, but the cooldown is like 90 seconds, so you can just keep drinking the coffee if you need to. Um, so that's 145 on the fly without really giving up much of anything. You know, I'd only want to get this high if I was taking some raid boss. So, you know, what I'm giving up with the spinneret and the torque is not a big deal when I'm raid boss tanking. So I want to mention some other ways, too, that if I really wanted to, I could get my Intimidate even higher. So there's a couple twists that I'll point out. 
and one great one, like if you know you're going into a raid and you need a little bit more Intimidate in the Draconic Incarnation, right here at Tier 1, so just a Tier 1 twist, you can get plus 6 Intimidate. Um, just from that, that's an easy twist. Uh, and since I have this highlighted, I do want to mention that this is another great twist. It says plus 3 to DCs your fear-based spells. So um, this is a little sort of hidden gem for people who try to get a high... DC on their uh, Phantasmal Killer spell. Uh, a lot of folks I know don't realize that this gives you plus three to Phantasmal Killer, which is a fear effect. So there's a plus three hidden gem if you didn't know that one for, to your uh, PK spell. All right. So, uh, but, and then you can get another point by twisting in Skill Mastery from Shadow Dancer. You know, sometimes one point can make all the difference, you know, or it can, can be meaningful, you know, if you're right there, you know, not quite at no fail, you know, you really want to get there or, or get closer to it or, you know, maybe you're at a point where you're you're failing 50% of the time on a tough raid boss and you just want to get a little bit, a little bit higher, even one point can make a difference. And you can get another one point from having like a Charisma Yugoloth Potion, uh, which you can get from the Yugoloth vendor in Amrath once you get it 75 Yugoloth favor, I believe. Uh, and then, you know, or you could use like a Charisma a remnant token uh, potion, kind of like uh, kind of like this one here, except this is the one for charisma. You know, you get these by trading 250 uh, mysterious remnants to the monster hunter in the Hall of Heroes. So there's another plus one you could get as a temporary boost if you got the charisma one. Uh, let's see what else. I could get it even higher. There are other ways to get it higher too. Uh, let's take a look at enhancement trees. So, and you know, there are, uh, you know, a lot of the different classes have bonuses to intimidate um, or race trees. But just for example, you know, on the druid side of things, you can get plus three more intimidate here from animal brutality in the nature's protector tree. Um, if you're a dragonborn, you can get plus three more from draconic visage. So there's six right there that's temp potentially available to me, but I don't want to spend the points there. I don't need that much more intimidate, so I'm good to go. Spend my points elsewhere. And uh, also in the Harper Agent tree, you've got highly skilled here. That's another plus three to all skills. So probably not worth investing in the Harper Agent tree just for that. But if you were already invested in the Harper Agent tree and you didn't realize that was there, you know, a few more points might get you some pretty cool bonuses to all your skills. So, I think that's all I want to go over. Showing you how I run at 107 and situation link can get up to 145 very easily. Um, some of these items are seasonal. So, you know, the Mimic Hunt, where you would get the Necklace of Glib Tongue, they only do that, I believe they're wanting to do that like a couple times a year. So if this is an item you'd want to get, make sure you start, you know, you grind out that event as much as you can when it's on. And then, you know, the, the Steel's Eternal Flask of Super Bold. There's, there's like three different coffees, so make sure if you're going for this that you get the right one that you get the Super Bowl Blend Coffee, because that's the one that gives the bonus to Intimidate. And another cool thing that, about this one for tanking is that it, it adds a plus 100 festive bonus to unconscious range. So, you know, if you ever... Uh, this could prevent you from dying. You know, you could go in cap at a much bigger range with that uh, while that's on. So pretty cool tanking item there. But the anniversary event, you know, is only once a year uh, during, like, I guess they do that, like, in March... Or so so next time the anniversary event rolls around uh, if you want to get this and it is bound to character that's kind of a bummer but uh, you know it is what it is that's what the kids say but your necklace of glib tongue is bound to account so now you know how I get to the intimidate that I get to and I showed you some other ways to get to it there are lots of other ways to increase your intimidate skill if you have a favorite way please make a comment and as always if you have any questions about my videos you can make a comment in this video and if you have any questions about my build which I will link in this video description you can make a comment on my build post in the Druid forums.